All right. Two days after sharing with you a little speed training, I'm back in my yard doing the same thing and a couple of questions about how do you hit the ball farther and so forth. Everybody wants to hit bombs. And as we end 2020 and we want to make 2021 the year of hitting bombs, high, nasty, straight bombs, we want to do it so we prevent injury and don't get hurt. What does that mean? Well, it's really about a six week process that we're going to go through where the first two weeks are develop, developing strength the middle two weeks power and the last two weeks explosiveness. So I'm in the first day of explosiveness where I start really trying to get some box jumps and leaps and pushes uh, from the ground to create that explosiveness through the ball. But we wanna do it without getting hurt. So in those six weeks, we're gonna be doing a lot of TRX and physio ball work to strengthen the spine so that when we swing fast, we don't over extend the facet joints and have our muscles lock up and we can't move. And that happens with a lot of people that swing those speed sticks for the first time. They don't strengthen their spine and their muscles lock up and they can't move. We also want to support the knees by doing, instead of regular squats, we want to do single leg squats on an unstable platform with weights. So that the supporting muscles around the knee has to fire as we do that, as well as the shoulders when we do, instead of a regular push up, do one TRX where you have to stabilize, elevate your feet if you can, put a lot of pressure there and those stabilizing muscles will really strengthen that area and prevent injury. And so those are the three key areas for all golfers if you want longevity. TPI certified instructors are the best at that. I would get one if you really are sincere about making 2021 the, the year of hitting bombs. So as I get into explosiveness, I'm gonna add pushing with those legs and really snap that club through the ball. But my knee bends, it does not rotate. Nobody's does. So through impact, as I push, I want to release that pressure and let that foot almost aim right at the target, kind of like Bubba Watson and Bryson DeChambeau do. They swing it so fast and don't get hurt because they let their foot rotate. If you try to keep it stationary and rotate, you're going to rip up your knee. You're going to need a bunch of surgery, so don't do that. So let's see if I can get uh, a little bit more pop here, add a little bit more speed through the ball and really push with those legs. See if I can get, uh, get a little bit more clubhead speed here. You saw me release the pressure. Took the pressure off my leg, off my knee. Uh, let's see the numbers. Okay, keep in mind, this is just two days after. we. Here we are adding explosiveness. You can see one, let's see, 181 ball speed, 125 speed, um, 345 carry. We go over to Trackman, and Trackman has... Let's see, 309.6, 179 ball speed, 120.7 club head speed. So I got the ball speed uh, up. It's probably right or just over 180. One says 179.5, the other 181. Now that's where I want to be at 125 club head speed, 124, 125 on track man. I want to be at 130, 132 on quad. Why is that different? Well, quad measures just prior to impact, so it's going to be faster than track man. It's measuring at impact. So they're gonna have about a four or five mile an hour difference because of the slowdown effect when you actually strike the ball. So uh, that's what uh, I'm looking at on those two different numbers. That's why they're different. I hope that helps. Let's make 2021 the year of hitting high, nasty, straight bombs.